Hi, my name is Eva and I'm a mom who happens to love wine and needs it all the time because I have so much going on in my life. Laundry, taxi driver, cook, the, the list goes on. Hi Eva, uh, Hi. my name's Paul. I'm a journalist and wine critic. Tonight we're gonna taste a Barbera from Northern California. This is a Boger wine company from uh, Blasterville, way up there in the old Gold Rush uh, area. Uh, Barbera is an interesting grape. It's the third most produced grape in Italy. Um, it's uh, naturally very, uh, very fecund. It grows very vigorously. It has to be cut back, otherwise it's quite acidic. Um, it's got huge fruit to it. Uh, raspberries, cherries, blackberries. It's a very fruit forward kind of wine. Let's, uh, let's pour. Let's pour. Okay, hold on. Let's talk about color. What do you see there? Very so, dark, yeah. That would imply maybe extracted big flavors. Let, let's smell it. Let's smell it. What do you smell, Paul? I smell blackberries. <laughs> Should we taste? Let's taste it. Does it really help you to make that noise? It does, actually. I go tasting all the time. Yeah, yeah. My kids are asleep, and I go with my friends that have kids, mm -hmm. and then they go, oh, let's go wine tasting. You look at everybody, and they're like, so you gotta do it. I'm just trying to get buzz, because my kids are like driving me nuts. This is kind of an interesting area. It's up in the foothills, little gold rush area. Um, a lot of wine, a lot of grapes grew wild up there in the 19th century. Um, Let's, so can you is... take a take a second sniff? Oh, you don't want to hear my story. No, take a second sniff. Okay. What are you smelling now? Remove the backbone. Licorice, maybe a little um, leathery quality. So you're smelling what I smell every day on the way to school. My car has leather. Yeah. And there's licorice for my kids to shut up. This wine's backbone is like a car drive from my home to school. Is this um, a decent food wine, do you think? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's a little bit forward for, for a food wine. It's not refined. It's, I bet you it's high in alcohol content. I um, bet you it's pretty high. Well, that's good. 15%. 15%. Yeah, 15% is pretty high. I think it would go good with... Um, Breakfast. Yeah. It would go good after I drop off my kids. Yeah. Uh, rate this wine. Let's use the ding system. One ding. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's it's wine. a little hot. It's unbalanced, I think. It's not a good food wine. It's a difficult wine to pair with anything. And you can't just idly sip it. It's, it's a little bit too heavy for that. I would uh, do one, two dings. I would have it with my meals, and I would have it um, when I drop off my kids at school, mm -hmm. and when I pick them up. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, and thank you, Boger, for sending us that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Boger. It was a lot of fun. I mean, Boger. That didn't sound right. Thank you, Boger. Boger. Maybe it's yeah. Bouget. I would suggest Bouget. Bouget. Yeah.